The Prince of Wales Heritage Centre alongside the Yellow Knives Dene First Nation hosted a unique opportunity for residents across Yellowknife to partake in a beloved Dene tradition, hand games. Something the Dene haven't been able to do since the pandemic. It's just to help people understand each other about Dene people and like we haven't played in a long time because of that COVID. And You should come and play and practice and teach people and help people understand about who we are and what we do and everything. Just everybody coming together and when you're playing, you just you don't feel any timeline, don't feel any stress. You feel the energy, you feel the drums, and like once you feel the drums, like you just feel the rhythm and like they just feel inside of you. Like little tingles and stuff, like. Pretty much like tingles your fingers and your toes, whatever your body. It's like that's how it is because it's from it's from the drum. Okay, so the the fact that men and women, kids of all or people of all ages, uh, played against a great youth team. So yeah, it was uh, a great opportunity to kind of learn as well and to be mixed genders. Traditionally, women and children aren't allowed to participate in the games. But because this is a learning opportunity and not a tournament, Draghi said the elders he consulted with made an exception. I talked to the elders a while back about teaching. And they said that like, it's okay to teach women, children, and all that, as long as it's not a big tournament or a big traditional tournament. It's definitely challenging. I feel like uh, you could use a couple of years of practice. <laughs> The workshop ended with a lively demonstration by YKDFN drummers as they showed participants how it's done. <laughs> That's what I always tell everybody, all the kids, volunteers, parents, all the workers, my workers, everybody, like, show up. For CKLB Radio, I'm Mariah Caruso.